Hi all. Um, a while back I uh, bought one of these flashes. Um, I guess if you're watching this video then you don't really need me to tell you what it is. Um, there are, I know there's several names for this. Mine's from um, Calumet but um, I think uh, Godox made the original so uh, I'm just going to refer to it as Godox for the rest of this video. Um, I mean I have to say it's a beautiful flash. Um, really really like it. I, I used to have um, a cheaper um, Chinese end flash um, which was supposed to be 600 watts um, this is only 400 watts on, on the um, packet but um, I've used a light meter against it and it's just way more powerful than the uh, the cheaper Chinese one and um, that one broke after a few months so I'm ho hoping this one is going to last a lot longer the, the, certainly the build quality is a, a lot better on it um, so yeah, um, I mean, like I said, you probably don't need an introduction on what it is. Um, one of the things I love about the Godox is that it supports high-speed sync, something else that the, the M-Flash didn't do. Um, now, I don't really use high-speed sync a lot, but you know, it's nice to know it's there when you need it. Um, one of the things that it wasn't clear to me though when I bought it is that the, the trigger that, it, that, it, that I bought it with, the FT16s, um, they don't support high speed sync, um, which was a bit of a disappointment. Now, maybe I should have known, uh, but I didn't. Um, anyway, um, I do have some Yongnuos. Um, it's actually mounted on one now, but it's not actually turned on. Um, but these do support high speed sync, of course, the 622s. Um, and you can use it to do high speed sync with it. The problem is, is you then lose the ability to remotely change the power. So, you know, if you want to adjust the power, you know, you have to tell someone whoever's holding the flash or go back to the light stand and just twiddle with the dial. Um, you know, you can, you can get away with it, but, you know, it's not neat. And one of the reasons why I bought these triggers is so I could remotely change it. So... Um, Anyway, I do know though that for Canon users, Godox have just released a, a, a high-speed sync unit called the Cell 2. Um, but then, it, from what I've read, you sort of put that on top of your camera and then it relies on you holding this separately and changing the power here. Um, you know, that's not really why you want it. You know, it's a bit clunky and hardly an ideal solution. So, anyway, I had a good hunt around the internet. Um, and I came across someone quite by accident really on Facebook uh, and sorry I forget the name so I can't um, you know tell you who he is um, but they told me that if you could actually combine the 622s and get high speed sync um, uh, and still control the power settings so I gave it a bash um, you know it took me a while actually it wasn't immediately intuitive to me I figured it out eventually so you know I figured that it'd be a good idea to put together this little video um, and show you how I got it all to work I mean first of all you only really need one of these 622s um, and, and what you'd basically do is you pop it on top of your camera like so hold on a minute Shoot the thing. there you go just put in place Okay, so, um, and then on top of that, you put the FT16 unit there. I should turn that off first, shouldn't really, shouldn't I? Play it safe, Martin. There we go. Okay, and that's in place like so. Um, I've already mounted the USB um, receiver on the side of the flash. Um, the flash is powered on, it's currently set to a 16th power. Um, what you need to do though is you actually need to put it into high speed sync mode. Now again, this again, maybe I didn't read the instructions properly, um, but it took me a little while to figure out. You have to press the mode and set buttons. And as you can see here, there's a, there's a H on here. Let's see if I can zoom in and, and show you this. Uh, yeah, there it is, the little H there. Um, and that sort of shows you that you're in high speed sync mode and it starts off at eighth power. So if I just turn these on now, um, Oh, let's zoom back out first, sorry guys. So turn the top one on and turn the 622 on. Okay, um, and what you should be able to see now is that I can control this remotely, as you can see. I don't know if you can see that, but as I press the buttons here, um, the, the power's changing on the back of the display. Okay, which is great. 
Um, and what I can also do here, just to show you, I'm in high speed sync mode. Um, where is the, the show in there? Yeah, as you can see, I know, sorry, it's backwards. Um, currently in one four thousandth of a second. So definitely in high speed sync, and I've got a half power. I'll just take a quick test photo and then show you the results. Um, won't be of anything grand, but who cares? There you go. There we go. And let's see if I can show you the results on here. It's a bit overexposed, but you know, it's just a test. Let's show there. As you can see, one four thousandth of a second. Let's show you. There we go. Um, and there's no band in. There's obviously flash there, um, and that's it. There's the test. I hope you found that useful. Um, if you want to know anything else, then pop a comment in the comment box. Um, any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you all for watching.